In this problem, we have to graph the parametric equations and also write them in rectangular form. Let's start off by writing them in rectangular form, so solution. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll basically take the equation with x, solve it for t, and then plug it into the other equation. So to solve this equation, we'll start by subtracting 3 from both sides. So these cancel. So we end up with t equals x minus 3. Now that we have t, all we do is take it and plug it in here. So that will give us y equals parentheses x minus 3 squared. So that would be the rectangular equation. That's it. So as for the graph, this is a parabola and it's shifted to the right by 3. Remember, if it's x minus 3, you go right 3. If it's x plus 3, you go left. I always memorize it as, as being backwards. So we take our parabola and we shift it to the right 3. So 1, 2, 3, and it looks something like that. So the only thing left to do is to find the orientation. So to do that, we make a little table with t, x, and y. And then what you do is you plug in values of t in increasing order, so smaller to larger. And that will give you the orientation. Um, let's plug in 0 and maybe 1. Nice easy numbers. So plugging in 0 for x, it's going to give us uh, x equals 3. And plugging in 0 for y, it'll give us 0, because 0 squared is 0. So when t is equal to 0, oh, we're right here. OK, interesting. So we're right here. When t equals 0, we are right at uh, the vertex of this parabola. And when t is 1, we get 1 plus 3, so that's 4. And 1 squared is 1. So already at t equals 1, x is here. I guess that's not that far away, uh, and y is here. So this corresponds to t equals 1. So it must do this. Right? It must go in this direction, and that is the orientation. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.